Analysis of Driver Behaviors During Common Tasks Using Frontal Video Camera and Canvas Information by Janesh Jain and Dr. Carlos Busso. Distraction is a voluntary or involuntary diversion of attention from the primary task of driving. It is not related to the impairment due to alcohol, drugs, or fatigue. We are interested in the distraction of drivers while they are involved in secondary tasks. This diversion in attention reduces situational awareness and decision-making abilities of drivers. Our goal with the study is to be able to identify salient multimodal features which can be used to monitor driving behaviors and can be used to distinguish between normal and task driving behaviors. Eventually, as a future work of the study, we would like to use these features to be able to provide a distraction metric which can be used to evaluate drivers and alert distracted drivers. All this is being done using real-world data as against driving simulators and using non-invasive sensors only. The UT Drive driving platform at the Center for Robust Speech Systems has been used for our study. It is custom fit with many sensors. The frontal facing camera, which is very important for our study, is set up as shown. The car also has a microphone to record audio information. The CAN bus information consisting of the steering wheel angle, vehicle speed, brake value and gas pedal pressures is also recorded using the Devitron data acquisition system simultaneously. Every subject was asked to drive around this route twice. During the first run, they were asked to perform the following secondary tasks. Firstly, the subject was asked to tune the radio to predetermined stations. Then they were asked to operate and follow instructions on a navigation system like a GPS. Then they were asked to dial a number to an automatic airline information system and request information during the call. Then the driver was shown pictures by the author who was sitting in the passenger seat and were asked to describe the pictures. This was done to approximate the task of looking at objects outside the car such as billboards, signboards and shops. Finally, a spontaneous conversation with the passenger was the final task. Then the second run was for the normal driving without any in-vehicle distractions. This was used as a baseline or reference to compare the first run with. Here is a 5 second sample of the frontal facing video where the subject is dialing a number on a cell phone. The different modalities being considered in this study are shown as mentioned, shown as below. From the video, which is got from the frontal facing camera, we extract the head pose, yaw and pitch information and the eye closure information using the effect software from the machine perception lab of University of California, San Diego. The motivation for this analysis is as follows. What are the features from a vehicle environment that can be used to distinguish between normal and task driving behaviors? This has been done in two ways. Analysis of features as hypothesis testing and visualizing the difference between features, using these features and their discriminative power by employing them in classification tasks. A match space hypothesis test is estimated to assess whether the differences in the features between each task and the corresponding normal condition are significant. At 95% significance levels, we found the following tasks are significantly different when comparing normal driving features and corresponding task driving features which are highlighted here in the regions highlighted as grey. This graph shows the significant features for each task. For example, the feature your mean is significantly different between normal and task driving for all the seven tasks. Here as an example, we plot the average and standard deviations of the head pitch feature across all the subjects for each of the seven tasks. While tasks such as phone operating and picture show a huge difference, other tasks such as radio or GPS following do not show significant difference between the features from the normal and task driving. We performed binary classification using KNN classifiers for each of the seven tasks and its corresponding normal driving segment. Classification accuracies using only video features, using only canvas features and using all the features are presented. As it is a fairly small dataset, the classification is done using the leave and out cross validation scheme. Using video features only, for tasks such as GPS operating and phone talking, the classification accuracies are better than those compared to when using CAN bus features only. Whereas for the task of conversation with a passenger, the classification accuracies are better using only the CAN bus features. For tasks such as phone operating and conversation, the combination of the features improves the classification accuracy. Overall, across all tasks, using a combination of the features improves the classification accuracies by around 2.2%. As a consequence of the forward feature selection process, we determined the significant features for each task. This figure shows for how many tasks is a particular feature significant in distinguishing between normal and task driving behavior. As can be seen, your mean is again a very important feature as it was significant for all the seven tasks. As a summary, this study concentrated on analysis of multimodal features from different sensors and used them to distinguish between normal and task driving behaviors via classification. As a part of the future work, this work will be used to build driver behavior models to evaluate the deviation between the normal and task driving behaviors. 
Finally, we propose a distraction metric to alert drivers if they are distracted beyond a certain level. This will eventually help in improving the quality of modern driving on roads. Thank you.